Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, it's Jim Hutchison from Able Lights, jimonlight.com. We're here at booth 2015 here at LDI 2016. I want to talk a little bit about Quartz. It's been a really popular desk in our line. Quartz is four copper, 16 over art net. You've got a handle, you've got 10 playbacks and you've got 20 executors and incredible amounts of pages of both. I mean, if you don't know ABO, we've been in the business for a very, very long time. We've been doing rock and roll and theater and opera and touring since the beginning of the days. So one of the things that we do really well is that we build our desks for war. You know, you've got military grade optical encoders, you've got German shadow switch bodies. I mean, these are serious desks. Everybody has ever used a classic ABO desk. The Titan operating system, which has been new over the last decade, is really giving you visual support that you truly wouldn't have if we hadn't, you know, for Able Lights itself, being on a classic and coming to Titan has been a big move. It's very visual. I think one of those things that is really important to talk about is just that today's, you know, today's people, today's operators, they are visual graphic people. So we've been able to incorporate all of that wonderful stuff that we've learned from doing classic desks for decades and incorporate it with a solid, well-built panel with excellent features that anybody could just get. We want you to get out of your head and get onto the stage in terms of your lighting, you know? We don't want you to We want you to get out of here and get your head up and be this way. Right now we're coming to our server package. This is AI. We've got many, many different flavors of this. But if you look over here, we've got AI in a rack with what we call our Titan Net processor. If you're running a bunch of universes over what the desk can handle over ArtNet, Titan Net processor is the way to get out of that. So what that is, is that's 8 copper and 16 over ArtNet, which is a processing unit, as you expect. Many companies have them. We love ours, obviously. Uh, you can hook many of these in a low, and what it does is it removes the processing from the desk and sends it here, so all you're doing is sending commands to that processing unit. A lot of people see these, and they don't really know what to do with them, but what they are is an expansion of universes in different locations of your state. It's just something important that, you know, I don't think people talk about in education a lot is stuff like this. So let's move over to, oh, we can go to the arena now. Check that out. Well, this is arena. This is one of my favorites. This is a fader board, many, many flavor. We've got 30 on the side here in a bank, and we've got an extra 10 in the center, plus a huge touch screen right in the middle. And we've got this great little seven inch touch screen over here on the side under a bank of 20 executors. These rotary touch pots allow you to do anything you want. You can add group master intensities to them, rate, BPM, size, control masters for effects. You can have a group grid up here. Any window that you want to put over here, you can put over here. The reason that we built this this way is that a lot of people love the old Pearl Expert. Many handles and just for days and days and days. But the thing about this is that this has a four port managed giga switch in it, fiber in and out. It's got um, uh, the same military hardware, the same solid, ready-to-go shadow body switches and everything that you need. Plus, on the back of this console, we allow you to have audio input or output. We have an incredible device called Sound to Light that we use, or a piece of software, rather. And instead of just kind of triggering things, if you wanted to set up a crazy rig where you had things that were triggered off of a let's just say a DJ or a band's uh, output, you can set up different effects and cues that you have personally built and then attach those to different frequencies of the desk so that you're not getting a hodgepodge of stuff. You're getting exactly what you wanted. It's just a neat little thing that we don't talk much about that we have in the desk that we think is pretty cool. This is Arena. This is a, this is a great piece of gear. This is actually pretty cool. Right now what we have, we have a, a web API built into uh, Titan in a 10. So a lot of times you can just build a simple HTML web page and set it up so that you can literally just go in. Let's just say you have an install or maybe a K through 12 place or a worship hall or a theater where you want to just have somebody come in and, you know, fire the blue queue so that the queue can go in and work for, you know, you can hide the desk so that you've got a web page only that interacts. You know, this is something that 10 is, yeah, 10 is uh, really heavily upgraded. Um, and again, another Titan Net processor is just not in a rack mount, just setting to show. We love the TNP. It really gives you an advancement of processing. Our processors are fast and they are built for speed. I mean, our, using quartz, especially quartz, is one of the fastest desks that we have. It's kind of an amazing little thing.
looks like. Now, something that's also really cool is that we have a laptop base. We actually have two laptop based solutions. We have a one universe dongle that's not seen here, it's under the table. You know, it's a couple hundred, you know, it's like retails for 295, 299, but it's one universe. And it's the same software that's in the 64 universes. It's the same software throughout any one of our surfaces. It doesn't matter what desk you're using, you can get into the one universe dongle and get yourself instantly into the full largest show you want to get into because the software is exactly the same. There's no learning curve when you go from one desk to another. A couple of faders and a couple of extra button places and places, that's the only thing to really get used to. And your muscle memory for AboLites is going to be there if you're an AboLites user, so you don't have to worry about having to worry about an entire different way of setting up and thinking as a programmer designer. The second laptop solution, this is Titan Mobile. Titan Mobile is this guy right here. It also comes with a sidecar wing if you want to order that package. So there's two packages, this, this, or both of them together as a road kit. Dependent on your laptop, you know, uh, minimum spec works everything. We've got Capture embedded in every single desk that we have. Our operating system version 10 comes with Capture embedded in the desk as our previs. So you open that up onto a secondary window or right here on your screen, as you say, and you can design your shows on the plane on the way to the gig if you needed to do so. And feel good about the colors and the beams and the size and the shape and all of the speeds that you've been working on to make it look nice. Titan Mobile is just like anything else. It's four over copper, and then you've got another 16 out of an ArtNet port if you wanted to out of your laptop. Now this is Titan Mobile. You would not believe how many tours are out there rocking these small, you know, this small format. You know, tours that have got 10, 12, 14 universes running out of them. It's a hardcore piece of gear. This is Titan Mobile. So this is the venerable Tiger Touch 2. Tiger Touch has been around for a while. But what you've got with Tiger Touch is you've got a bigger screen, you've got an extra set of 10 playbacks and executors. It's a larger format desk. It's in between courts and arena. But this is another desk that goes out on the road quite a lot. This, you can either use the Titan Mobile Wing sidecar, the fader board, or this model has its own fader board, uh, like a sidecar wing, that has the exact same shaping, exact same design. It's just a nice looking desk. It's got a really a lot of design paid attention to it. This is Tiger Touch 2. Same thing, four copper, 16 over ArtNet, heavy processing, anything you want in a desk. So this is our this is our Rolls Royce desk. This is the Sapphire Touch. Sapphire Touch has touch capacitive faders, flying pages, two enormous touch screens. Comes with capture embedded in the desk. Our our uh, man Steve Warren here is running, rocking, and rolling. So what you've got here is this is really the 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 large format desk that we consider you know top of our line. Okay, you have got adjustable monitor, everything else that we've talked about on any other desk. Everything is in here, but the surface that you have on this desk is absolutely fantastic. Multiple pages of faders, multiple executors, anything that you want to do, you've got full capture embedded for Viz. And really, when you come down to it, this has been the big competitor on the market this year and last. Any kind of labeling, you've got electronic board tape. Every time you touch a fader, you can set it up to be anything that you want. It could be a capacitive fader that's being a, pre, a prohibitive fader for something else. The depth is just absolutely thick and, 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 uh, and, and deep with this product. But as always, it doesn't matter whether it's Titan One or Sapphire Touch. You've got the exact same software in any one of our desks. Networking also is a dream. Our networking stuff connects so that each one is actually connecting to a session. So that if you have a master-slave situation and you lose your slave, or you lose your master, the entire network doesn't collapse. You literally lose your session, you reconnect your desk after you fix whatever problem caused the network to go away, and AbleLights automatically says, hey, we're here, we see you, welcome back to the family. Check us out at AbleLights.com, get a hold of me, jim at jimonlight.com, and we're just glad to see you. Control booth!